Kathy Heller from the Minerva Public Library, and I'm here to celebrate Imagine Your Story Summer Reading 2020 with you. This week's adventure is with Rapunzel. So we have some crafts and activities that go with the book Rapunzel and also with the movie Tangled. So I hope you'll enjoy them. I'm going to show you them briefly. We'll explain all three crafts and then you can do them at home. If you come to the library, we have summer reading craft packets that you can pick up that have the supplies you need. Or maybe you just have the things at home and you wanna do them at home, which is fine too. All right, we're going to make today a Rapunzel tower. Okay, we're going to make a chameleon blower. And we're going to paint on bread. Remember how much Rapunzel liked to paint when she was in the movie Tangled? All right, to get started today, we're going to do the Rapunzel Tower first. All you need for this project, which is in your packet, is a paper towel roll and some yarn, a piece of foil, and maybe some markers or Sharpies or something to decorate. You don't have to have those if you don't want them. So what you wanna do first with your paper towel roll is cut a hole that will make the window of the Rapunzel Tower. You can use scissors or have a parent use a craft knife. Then you're gonna take your foil and you're gonna wrap it around your tower. Now if you don't have foil or you don't like the way the foil looks, you can just decorate the cardboard roll. You can just decorate this. So maybe you want to draw some, some bricks. Do you think it looks like a brick tower? You can draw bricks. Or maybe you would like to have some vines. I have vines and bricks on my tower and you can't see them because of the foil. Maybe you would like to draw some vines growing up the tower. A few leaves here and there. Just make some little circles zigzag line and some circles makes a nice vine with leaves. If you want them to be flowers, you can always draw some little flowers on the vine too. Okay, so after you decorate your tower, you'll have your, cut your hole first, please. Decorate your tower, then you're going to need to make a long braid of hair. Because if you remember, she always said, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair. It's even more beautiful in the story that's concluded in your packet. So I have set up this braid for you. It has a knot at the top and a loop. You can put that against something if you need to or, or your friend or mom or someone can hold it. But you're going to take two pieces of yarn in one hand, two pieces of yarn in the other hand, and two will be hanging down the middle. And when you braid, you just take this piece over and it's in the middle now. Then you take the next piece on the, the other side over and it's in the middle. And you go back and forth. The one on the right, the one on the left. The one on the right, the one on the left. And you keep going down back and forth. One's always ends up in the center. After you put it across, it goes in, it'll be the center one. All the way down to the bottom to make your beautiful braid. Then you can pick a tape or glue or something and glue it into the tower. So if you wanted to play, you can put all that hair up inside of that tower. And then you can say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair. And you could decorate the hair with flowers or ribbons or whatever you'd like to have. So that's the Rapunzel Tower. I hope you like that. Next is our Chameleon Pascal Craft. You'll be lucky because you have a red tongue for yours. The pieces I have included in your pack are two pieces of foam. These are the sticky back foam. There should be two eyes, okay, and a blower. Yours is red, isn't that nice? Now the very trickiest part of this is putting the blower in the right spot because you're going to peel the backing, it's green on one side, the white backing off, and then you're going to put the blower in there's a long flat part that's the kind of his forehead and there's a shorter part that's the mouth and then kind of like going down to the neck. So you have to have enough room for your mouth and you want to have it coming out for your mouth and part for his mouth. And so after you peel that off and stick that on, you peel this off and stick it on the other side 
So it will all stay together. Then you're going to put your eyes, glue them on one on each side. And if you have a marker or crayon or something, you can draw a mouth. That's how I drew mine. Comes out from where the blower is, make it into like a smile. Maybe eyebrows, wrinkles, nostrils, whatever you'd like to do. And then your Pascal is all ready to play with. Okay, very nice. Now our last project is painting on bread. I don't know if you've ever done this, but it's pretty simple. It's just sugar and water and bread. In your packet, I do not have any bread. So hopefully you find some bread at home. You could paint on pancakes, maybe Uncrustables, probably crackers. I don't know, use your imagination. But you'll have your piece of bread, and then I did give you a couple of colors of colored sugar. This has some food coloring in it. Be careful or your hands will end up like mine. Okay? I know, I didn't give you gloves. Okay, so you have some sugar in here that has food coloring in it. You need to have a parent either boil or heat up some water. You need rather hot water to mix with it. This is one tablespoon of sugar. And we're going to add one tablespoon of hot water. My water is not very hot anymore. Mix that with a spoon or a fork or oh, maybe put a paper towel down or something first like I did. And that should dissolve. And now you have sugar water paint. All right. So I have made up some blue and some yellow in advance and I painted with those. You have a paintbrush in your packet. And I want you to know that I ran all of the paintbrushes through the dishwasher so they are clean. So even though you use this paintbrush on bread, you can eat the bread if you want to. It just tastes like sugar. And you can even toast the bread and eat it later. So I have written on here MPL, and I'm trying to draw a heart here with the paint. So it says, I love MPL. You know what MPL is, right? Minerva Public Library. There, there's an, and I'll make an I. I should have done that in blue. Okay, you could just eat it like that. It's just sugar, sugar and water. Okay, and this one I was trying to make a rainbow. I'm gonna see if I can mix this red. We'll mix with the yellow and make a little orange. You have a couple of colors and you can mix them if you want to, if you have another little dish or something to mix in. My red is not very bright. The blue is so pretty and bright. Just add the red to the rainbow. Now, if you wanted to make this at home and you didn't have your sugar water, I found out that this kind of sugar works really well too. I, it was just cheaper for me to make it for everybody's packet using a food coloring and sugar. So it's one tablespoon of sugar. Could be this kind. Could be a little a tablespoon of sugar and a drop of this. And one tablespoon of hot water to make each color. So then you can paint on your bread. So I hope you enjoyed all of these crafts and activities we have for this week's lesson, which is Rapunzel. Thank you.